Hi, survivors. It's me, Prep Rizan, reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world is not horrifying, to say the least. And with these crooked people that we have in positions of power, there's no telling how long or much longer we're going to keep going through this. We have to stay prayed up, survivors, because the devil is busy. And we need to be busier as believers. Anyway, I want to talk to you guys today about the questionable things that's going on with the F-O-O-D. Thanks to the left, I have to abbreviate what I'm saying. And thanks to these platforms for censoring us, for telling the truth. Allegedly. But that's what's really going on. Anyway, by now, you guys should already know, be careful what you're putting into your mouth. Be careful what you're putting into the mouth of your children. We know that there's some ugly, evil agendas ushered in by ugly, evil people that a lot of people go stand in lines every four years ago, vote for, do, 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 who do not have their interest at heart, allegedly. Anyway. So there's this article that came out, and I thank Queen for sharing this information with all of us. With all of us, um, in regards to a lot of the F dash A dash S dash T chains, you know these places that y'all go and pull up in the drive-throughs and stuff. I say y'all because I'm 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 excluded out of that because I don't even eat that no more. I stopped eating that years ago. I used to eat there every now and then, maybe two or three times a year, especially when my kid was little. I would take her, you know, through the fast, you know, through the uh, drive-throughs and, and get her some things. We don't, even, we don't even mess with it no more. But anyway, at these places, they're using substitutes for the M-E-A-T, you know. So a lot of times you're thinking what you eating is real. It's not. <laughs> It's just not what you think it is, baby. And now I'm going to go further on to say, not only at these types of places, watch what's going on in that market too. Because as we know, they'll let, in, especially in America, they'll let anything, almost anything on the shelf for a price. You pay these people with these abbreviations that also work in that house out there in Washington, D C. All you got to do is get paid and they'll let them put their products all on the market to mess us all up, mess our children all up, allegedly. But that's what's really going on. See, in a lot of these other countries, a lot of these foods that they allow out here in this country is forbidden there. You know, I tell you all the time, if you read, if you just even read the content, not even including the ingredients that they just throw up in now. Especially y'all now, now y'all with these food shortages and what's going on over there in U dash K dash R dash I A N E. That's the bread basket. That was the bread basket of the world, and so all this stuff been affecting the food. Y'all ain't no telling what's what's going on in there. They put all kinds of stuff in there to stretch it, you know. But anyway, as I was saying, you know, a lot of these products are very questionable. They don't a lot of stuff in these other countries, but over here, you're going to find stuff. If you read the content, you're going to see food coloring, food dye, all this stuff you can't even pronounce with your tongue and your lips. Don't even know what it is. If you try to go to Webster to define it, good luck with that. If they're going to have what's really up in it, it's all questionable. And then if you look at our children, especially our girls, our young girls, their breast is overdeveloped. They butt look like they didn't have a BBL and they have it. Gut and stuff all the way out. All that is the food. And especially in low-income areas, the food is not food, basically. And be careful. And I have been trying to warn my viewers, warn you guys, in the last couple of years, cut down a lot of the eating, you know. You, it don't really take a lot of that. Of course, you have people, you know, who take certain, uh, who have illnesses, who have to take certain things. When I say, I don't want to say the word, but it's your 
M E D I C I N E. Because y'all have to be really careful. So y'all bear with me because they really been censoring a lot. But um, when you have to take that every day, you know, yeah, you have to like make sure that you're eating enough to make sure, you know, you have enough food into your system, into your body. You know what I'm saying? So you always want to seek your D-O-C-T-O-R in regards to that. But everybody else, y'all cutting down is not going to hurt you. And just being precautious of what we're getting out of these markets and what we put in our body, y'all, because what you put in your body, it affects your mind, it affects your body, it affects your teeth, it affects your way of living, it, it affects your mood, your behavior. They don't want to tell these people tell people that, but that's what's really going on. A lot of the foods that people eat is causing them to think violently, you know, be overweight, get diabetes, cancer, and all this kind of stuff. Everything is questionable right about now. We should already know that. It's not no coincidence. All this stuff is happening. You know, people are starting, more people are starting to feel what's going on. I'm just trying to spread the message out there. I hope y'all taking heed to it. Keep on putting everything and anything in your body and in your mouth if you want to. See how far that's going to get you. Especially if you are prepping and stuff. Don't just be prepping food and storing water and, and supplies and all that. You're not taking care of your body and your mind that God has given us to fight during these times and to be able to withstand these times and be here for our families. So I just want to spread that. I thank Queen for sending it. I try not to elaborate too much, even though I may go on and on. But basically, I hope I've made the point. Be careful. Be careful with it. Because y'all, I'm telling you, it's a lot of stuff that they're doing on purpose to destroy the masses allegedly but that's what's really going on you guys i saw i have already started sending out those newsletters thank you for your patience y'all know i was gone for about almost a month dealing with emergency situations so um if you did not get the newsletter please uh, send us your email again go to purposeand.com stroll to the bottom of the page and um, you can put in your email address. If you're looking for a bug out area, y'all, we have bug out areas for only five dollars a month. They're really, really good. Or you can pay annually. It's also on Prepazan.com, and it's in a gated community way out. Nobody will know where you are. There's a mariner for your boat. There's fishing. There's hiking. There's swimming. You'll see deer roaming all throughout the property if you want to hunt. Um, just a lot. I said fishing, freshwater fishing. It's just a great place to be, you know, when the cities become crazy because they're really already there. And you can take your RV, your car. You don't need to have a house there or anything like that. You just drive there and um, your name will be on the list. And you can just have access to this area if you're trying to get out the city. So I thank God for that option for people because a lot of people don't have it where they could just buy property right now or they don't know where they may go. If you're in the Texas area, if you're not in the Texas area and you want to be able to have somewhere to go when the SHTF occur or just somewhere to go, period, like a vacation or whatever. I go once or twice a year and it's my property. And it's amazing, y'all. It's really, really beautiful. But it's also on PrepperZan.com. Please follow me on Patreon, y'all. I've uploaded almost, um, well, there have been scheduled about 20, 30 videos of raw content that I cannot talk about on here. I would not talk about it on here for them to censor me and pull my page down. So you always also go to Patreon and sign up there. And in, uh, if you're looking for survivalism gear, gear and things, we also have that on PrepperZan.com. Support the Allegedly t-shirts and the good luck with that t-shirts. Also on PrepperZan.com. I'm looking for a vendor where those t-shirts can be cheap, y'all. That's not my price. It's the people who are really actually making them. Everything is just so expensive. But I thank you guys for supporting the channel. And if you like to make a donation, you can also hit the thanks button. We have other options in the, um, in the description. And as always, please, with everything within yourself, watch this world. Watch the weather. Please watch the weather. Follow my, my brother, Weatherman Plus, over there for great weather updates. Smell your water. Ball and purify your water before you use it. Prep, prep, prep. Pray, 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 and keep surviving. Prepazan.com.